might as well start this video off with a little ASMR. Why not? And no, this is not a sponsored video, but this is indeed a black cherry Waterloo, and they're quite delicious. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and monitor your PFSense firewall inside of Zabbix 6. We have to enable SNMP listener on our firewall. And we can do that from services, uh, SNMP. And you're just going to go ahead and enable SNMP daemon. This is so your Zabbix server can talk to your firewall over SNMP. Rest of these settings are generally okay with their defaults. I'm gonna go ahead and click save on that. Okay, so everything should be set up correctly on our firewall side now. Let's head over to our Zabbix server. And we're gonna go over to host groups and we're gonna create a PFSense host group. So this is just to keep things nice and tidy. <clears throat> Maybe you're monitoring a lot of PFSense firewalls. And you want to be able to keep them all nice and tidy inside of a specific group. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is download the monitoring template that we're going to need in order for Zabbix to monitor your PFSense firewall and get all the items that you want to monitor, such as CPU usage, um, your hard drive space, your memory usage, so on and so forth. Where can we get that? Well, from this link here, the Zabbix website actually. And they have the template, the SNMP template for a couple different versions of Zabbix, 5.4, 5.0, and 6.0. So I would suggest you are going to need to be using one of these versions in order for this template to work successfully. In my case, as you know, I'm running 6.0. <clears throat> If you're not, you just click on the appropriate version and it updates accordingly. So this template is for Zabbix version 6.0. And it gives you the link right here. Okay. So here is the actual template link. You'll see it right here. Let's click on that. And all you're going to do is Control A to select all this. Command A if you're on Mac. And you're just going to copy this and you're going to paste it into a notepad file and you are going to save this notepad file file save as you're going to save it as a yaml file so what i would also do is copy this name right here go to file save as you're going to want to select all files as the type paste the name in there and then do dot yaml as you can see, I already have one on the desktop ready to go. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we have our template ready to go, let's head back over to our Zabbix host. So configuration templates, let's go to import template. Then you're gonna browse for the template. <clears throat> Do open, import. And then here, you're just gonna click the import one more time. And it's gonna import the template. So now we're going to go back to host, create host, host name, name of my firewall, visible name, call it what you want. Now templates, again, make sure you're on templates and it's going to be there now because we already imported it. There it is, PFSense SNMP, check mark, select groups. We're going to use the group that I created earlier. Interface, make sure you add an SNMP interface. This needs to be the IP address of your firewall. DNS name should really just be the host name. Okay, these settings look good. <clears throat> Everything should be good now. Let's go ahead and click add. Okay, so now it's just a matter of Zabbix discovering the firewall at this point. Um, and once it does, this SNMP av under availability will turn green. 
So for example, if we click on items, you can see all of the items that it's going to be pulling off of the PFSense firewall. So what I'm going to do is let this run. I'm going to go over to monitoring hosts. And one thing we can do, uh, you can see it already turned green. That was fast. And if we do a ping test as well, you can see that the Zabbix server is able to successfully ping the firewall, which is good. And if we go to graphs, we only have six right now, but already you can see we're getting data. So like memory usage, CPU jumps. But that is pretty much it in a nutshell. If you'd like to hire us for a project, please head over to reasonableitservices.com where you can book us for a free consultation.